Why? Why does it keep after being like this? Whenever I go away on holiday, it's sunny at home. Whenever I return, it's raining. And with every day that passes by, it's another day I can't take this to a track. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry. Now, I could actually take it to a track, but that would probably be a very bad idea, seeing as though I'm not track trained. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. My name is Tom, and I film every single weekday of my life. And for some reason, it is just grim, it is miserable, and I am not a fan. That was me referring to the weather, not my life. Because my life right now is pretty damn swell. In less than 62 days, I'm about to be a daddy. Hence why there's babies bits and bobs everywhere. And somehow at 30 years old, I'm getting kicked out of my own dream man cave. And it's being turned into the baby's nursery. Oh, how times have changed. I've gone from being a young whippersnapper playing Call of Duty, killing zombies, to now having a kid. Where's the time gone? Not a clue, but what I do know is that you guys should click that subscribe button, ping on that notification bell, and tune in every weekday at 7pm for your faces for a new weekday vlog. Or should I say 7pm-ish? But okay! It is time to start this day. Now hang on a second. What is going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you wearing? I don't know. I'm trying. Give me a twirl. Give me a twirl. Why have you put Jelly Man in a, in a helmet? <laughs> Give me a rotation. <laughs> that's helmet. ridiculous yeah no i love that you're wearing my calvin Klein boxes as well like that's where half my clothes go pregnant lydia she's wearing my top and my boxes and my baby inside there is like what is happening okay there's step one two and three and job should be a good one is it, have I, done it right? <laughs> I think so what is it well i've read that it stops your back hurting <laughs> wow Oh, I've got to be honest, he really is sticking out at this point, isn't he? Hey! Slap it and tap it. Now, Lydia's just popped out to get a nail. Oh! That was a genuine reaction. The bottom of my kitchen just fell off. Can I have, a, like, a replay of that? Yeah, not exactly my proudest manly moment. I was, like, taking a breath and screamed. What are the chances of me just randomly filming the plinth falling off? What? It's a sign. It's a sign that we need to get the kitchen uh, work interior stuff done, which I do believe Lydia this morning has been making phone calls because she's been planning the kitchen stuff. As we are changing this worktop surface and a few other things. So she's got that ball rolling. She's been on the phone to the joiner who's going to build this like beautiful sort of cupboard area here, which there's a picture on screen of what it's going to look like. She's spoken to the electrician about his availability. And we're future proof for when the new flooring's going in. So she's getting shit done. Now, in the discussion of getting shit done, I am trying to sort out the situation with the AMG GTR. Because as you know, I've had a lot of issues with getting this car sorted and back on the road. But it is indeed back on the road and ready to drive. That is, except I have got one heck of a dead battery and certain systems on the car not working. I did have a technician come to the house yesterday and diagnose the vehicle and he thinks it's to do with the battery to the point that it's a lithium battery and it's probably dead dead. Which, if it was a car like that, wouldn't be a problem. Buy a new one, no problem. However, I've just received a phone call of him today to let me know that the price of renewing the battery for this car could be upwards of a thousand pound plus. So that check from Dowie for 25 pound is not going very far. But here's to hoping that my technician bro, Joe, can get a date in his calendar to get the car into Mercedes, connect it up to the big calibration system, and to let us know whether or not it is actually the battery or it's just a fault on the system. I'm so hoping it is because a thousand pounds, flipping hecker. But hey ho, what a day, it's absolutely gorgeous, but not as gorgeous as that woman right there. Cause she's already home. Let me see your nails. Oh, oh, very nice. But she's back and she's bloody made us dinner. Listen, I will not discredit you. This class is as dinner, even if it's just a warmed up curry from a night ago. Oh, gorgeous. Hot. <laughs> but hey ho, it's time to go. And when I say it's time to go, I mean it's time to go and do anything. It's nearly quarter past four and I've done nothing with my day. 
All I've managed to do is sit here and get uploaded the video where I explain what happened with the GTR. Because yesterday, the video was just not working in the slightest. I couldn't get it done. So I had to film that today, but it was a 50 minute video. Then I had to upload it, wait for it to process. And for the last like few hours, I've been reading through everyone's response in the comments. And I'm just so mind blown how many people have actually watched the entire thing. Because it was a 51 minute explanation as to what's gone on with the car, but at least it's live. Everyone understands the headache that this caused me. And it's so nice to see that people understand what happened, why I was so stressed and why I couldn't talk about it. So to everyone who saw that video, thank you so much. If you do want to go and check it out, all you got to do is go to yesterday's video, give that a click and then scroll down to the description where you'll find it and... What is that? Excuse my face where I'm getting battered by Sam at the physio. But you'll be able to find the entire tale that is 51 minutes and two seconds long of what happened to the car. Now that story is behind us, but we're now moving forward with what's next. And that is getting the car back in working shape to the point where it's good to go and I don't have to worry about it breaking down and then bringing on getting it to a track. That's all I want to do. I want to get it on a track. I want to learn how to send it. And I did have someone say to me, Tom, why don't you reach out to that higher up, higher up, higher up that you know at Mercedes? which I don't know, they just know me. It's like the boss's boss's boss who somehow watches these videos. So if you're there, Mercedes guy, hello. <laughs> um, because apparently they have a Mercedes track themselves where they do like testing and teach people how to drive cars of that caliber. So just throwing that out there. If you happen to be watching Mercedes overlord man, um, call me. <laughs> and if you can get me a battery cheaper than a thousand pounds, that'd be cracking. But this is taken care of. Goodbye. It's time to take a, a note out of Lydia's book and um, get shit done. Teamwork, dream work. She, she passes the balls. I put them in the cupboard. I ho, I ho, it's in the cupboard you go. I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho. What a man. Just what a beautiful man. Nice t-shirt, Andy, where do you get that from? <laughs> oh, he's calling me out. He's waiting for the brand new summer collection. Can't wait for him to get that in winter. But all right, I do indeed believe... Where are you, lass? She's on the toilet. But I do indeed believe now we are going to Jonathan's Lewisness, where we actually got all this table and stuff from. Wow, here we go. But more particularly, we got these chairs from because we're going to go and place the order for the stools that we're going to get for the new kitchen set up in here. So they'll look like this style but spinny, swivelly things. AKA, barstools. <laughs> but if we're gonna be out later today, I'm going to need my go bag. So I can guarantee I can get the vlog out. And here we are, Jonathan Lewis. Hello you. Hi. I have to say. That's a nice table, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and here we are, that's what we're after. This chair right here, but in that style of color. Sweet. And the thing is, they're 259 pounds, but they come as a pair. So two brand new stools for 259, we'll take it. We've currently got four employees all crowded together to try and help us with the purchase of the chairs because we're trying to get this like protection plan for it, but no one seems to be able to log into it. So I thought, seeing as though it's been like 20 minutes, I thought I'd multitask and try out the beds. I'll tell you something, temper, comfy. <laughs> I love how she's chosen a desk to lay on to get comfy and I've chosen a, a tempur pillow. Oh, it's go time. Yes. 25 minutes later, we get in the chairs. Deliveries next Wednesday. We're on to a winner. All right, here we go. Nursery time. Oh, is this what we need? A next to me bed. So like when you're sleeping, the baby's like right next to you, not in like a cot, but where they can see you and you can see them. That's lovely. I like that a lot. Now this is my kind of kid aisle. Look at it all. What? This is sick. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I would love that as a kid. Or Bowser? What is that about? Wait, what? The, there's no way. It's Dunder Mifflin, the office. Hang on a minute. Move that out of the way. <gasps> Classic Defender 90 kit. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. The freaking Batmobile. They really realise that adults love Lego too. And the fact that will pay ridiculous amounts of money for it as well. Flipping heck. Well, we didn't find anything for the nursery, but no. great success. Chairs Very are ordered good. and we get them Wednesday. I know. I feel like we've, we've started the day a little bit late, haven't we? Because everything's closing and we're just, we're just getting motivated. You think that? I started the day at bloody quarter past four. My day's done. <laughs> I've wasted it. 
Oh, look at that waddle. She's waddling. No. <laughs> you are. No. Okay, you're not. Okay. Are you ready for the perfect treat? What? Do you know where I'm going to take you? Where? Take a guess. Sainsbury's? TGI Fridays. <laughs> Where's the excitement? <laughs> I'm joking, we're not going to TJ Freddy's. Instead, I thought an ice cream with a view would be better. This is much better. Because <laughs> I can get out and say, would you just look at that view? Go up your game, mate, because it's windy. Very windy. But bloody hell, look at that. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But I got back in the car because it's freezing. Don't help I'm eating ice cream either. You think you look like a rapper? She was like blonde and she always had a side pony and that's who I look like today. Unintentionally, by the way. I didn't do a side pony, it just <laughs> flopped to the side. I think I remember her. I'm sure she used to wear those like gold rings. She did! Lady Sovereign. Yes! I look like Lady Sovereign. Yeah, because she's well named a gold ring. Yes! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew I'd get that. That was a moment, that. I've been to John Lewis like Yeah, this. just for the record, that is not a compliment in any way, <laughs> shape or form, but it is what it is. Well, listen, not exactly <laughs> one of the best looks you've ever pulled off, but yeah, nailed it. Now we're back home, and I have to say, I'm not quite sure why we went up to the top of the local area to look at the view, because the view in my garden is gorgeous. Could have just come here and look. Could have hung out with a rabbit. But now nah, I'm kidding, it was nice to go to somewhere different. However, I've just come home because I need to go and drop my dad off a gift. Not, not that it's for anything, just because I love him. I got my dad a bottle of, do you remember when I went to Italy? And I had a whiskey sour, but they replaced the whiskey with grappa. Basically, the Italian's version of a whiskey, it's 41.5% deadly. And I bought my dad this like really gorgeous, like sort of fancy looking bottle because my dad, like me, has got like a gorgeous like drinks cabinet collection. And I've just picked it up to take it to him. And look what I've noticed. Gorgeous bottle, gorgeous bottle. You look around the bottom and wait, wait a minute. Wait, what? There's an absolute chunk missing out the bottom of this bottle. Did you eat it? So it looks like I bought my dad a second hand bottle of grappa. But I guess it's just going to have to do. And if I find out that you had anything to do with it, Wabbit stew for breakfast. Next stop, Dad's house. Tea time. Don't worry, I'm only dropping something off. Tea time. I'm dropping something off. You'll come out when you've got more time to spare. <laughs> I don't need to come in. I just want to drop off alcohol. Now, I know you've got a whiskey collection. Oh, nice yeah. tank top, Dad. Are you showing off your guns? Oh, my gosh. Right, now you have to handle this with care. Not because it's a rare collector, but because I've just realised it's damaged. Oh, really? Damaged already? How's it got damaged? Italian goods. <laughs> Hello there. Hey, I'm not saying you're in so... He came back. Hey, How are you doing? Ah, ah, for you. Ah, ah, for you. Oh, my gosh. Scratch me to death. Bloody hell, i got war wounds. Now, I know you like whiskey, but it's not whiskey. It's called grappa. It's 41.8% and it's basically Italian whiskey. It's strong stuff and it will blow you to a off. Me or you or us? Yeah, no, yeah, I had, I had several glasses of it and I couldn't remember the night. <laughs> the grappa has been given to the papa and now I need to go and secure what Lydia has called a nice loaf. She said, on your way back, grab a nice loaf. I'm like, I think she means like tiger bread or something like that. So I'll go in shops. So I'm obviously picking up some flowers for Lydia whilst I get bread, but I wasn't expecting to see you. How are you doing, man? What a bloke. I'm all right, mate, you seven foot giant. What are the chances? Like they say, everything happens for a reason. Good to see him. Okay, I think I got a bit carried away with the flowers. But now I need a nice loaf. Oh, and I think that will do. Well, that'll do nicely. I'm leaving with half a freaking forest. Alrighty. Home delivery. Um, got a feeling the gates crows incorrectly. I heard the biggest crunch and then that happened. Hey you, guess what I got you? Flowers. <sighs> I thought you could make a bouquet. Here you go, take them off of me. Happy flower day. Happy, happy flower day. I got, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Turn around. <laughs> I thought you could make a pretty cool display with that. I know you only sent me for bread, but I thought you would like that. Thank you. Not a clue what that is. Kind of looks like some sort of... I can sense you. I just knew you were there. I literally could feel you in the corner of my eye. Get out of it, buddy! 
Why? She sees this and she sees food. <laughs> yeah, look at this. How weird is that? Don't know what it is, but I like it. Hand picked with care. Oh, lovely. Only two pounds. Ooh, now I'm outside because Andy the gardener has just messaged me and he's very proud of himself. Because if we step on down around the back, I believe his Wimbledon garden is coming together and oh my gosh, is it? Go on the boy, Andy, look how nice that lawn's looking, even the new patches, you can see the lines going through all of it, oh my gosh, for the first time ever it's looking like one joined up lawn. I'm happy, I am very happy, Andy, well done, look at that, you've absolutely smashed that the lad, good. We obviously need to get a bit more seed down on this section here and then over there. Get it growing in and mate, this will, this will be Wimbledon 2.0. Go on Andy. And would you just, would you just look at that view and are you ready for something cool? If you actually look all the way over there, you see those mountains there, that Snowdonia mountain range. Now I'm trying to upload the vlog, it was supposed to be live at 7 o'clock. It wasn't. But I'm going to give you absolute props because she's working on another set of flowers there. But look at this one she's put together. These ones she's put together. And these ones she's put together. Practically perfect in every way. However, um, we have to pause all this flower talk because I've got a bit of a situation on my hands. Now, I could have swore this was a dream. But do you guys remember when I went to Saudi Arabia and I met up with Deji, Dylan Page, and Elliot Page, Dylan's brother, well, I didn't know that Elliot made content, right? And he's a massive, massive, like, sneakhead. If I put, like, his Instagram on screen now and his YouTube channel, I had no idea that this guy lived and breathed everything you can think about trainers, right? And got to know him at the trip, and it was absolutely amazing. But more so, I followed him on Instagram because, like, his content was awesome, and the trainers and the taste that he liked... I kind of, I kind of approve of it. I was like, yeah, okay. I'm not really a hype beast guy myself. I just buy trainers that I like because they're going on my feet, not yours. And I don't really care what someone thinks of the shoes that I'm wearing. Like I used to wear DCs back in the day, which I think I've got some in here, which are not exactly my proudest <laughs> purchase because they are indeed fluffy on the inside and uh, black and gold on the outside. But I would wear these to death and I've just realized they're kind of like a weird sort of material on the outside, but they were a shoe that I sat on top of fireworks, that I would simply wear to the death. I used to go to America, they used to cost like $50, and then the conversion rate at the time used to mean they were like worth 25 quid. But basically what I'm trying to say is, I've never really cared for trainers or the hype beastness of it or anything like that, apart from really liking Yeezys. Like, you know the trainers that I'm wearing now? The salmony ones, which have kind of like got um, holes in them. Well, I didn't buy those. Lydia bought them for me, and nearly every pair of like hype beast trainers I've ever had, even these bad boys, Lydia's bought for me. Now, this is where this story is going because after Saudi Arabia, I followed Dylan and Elliot on Instagram and just like keeping up with the posts that they, you know, like they're just posting out there on their socials and their YouTubes and stuff like that. And through following Elliot, he's constantly posting about sneakers and new drops and raffles and all the behind the scenes of everything you could ever possibly need from that's the sneaker world. Anyway, one of these posts that he put out this day was about a set of Yeezys, which were a certain colorway, like the ones I've got upstairs, but in a style that I just absolutely loved. And I was like, bro, they are so sick. They're absolutely epic. And he was like, oh, amazing. Like, what size are you? And I was like, why? And he's like, what size are you? And I was like, seven and a half. And he was like, okay, what's your address? And I was like, why? And he was like, don't worry about it. And I was like, I was like, what is going on? Now, basically, he just messaged me saying, did you get the Yeezys? And I'm like, there's no freaking way. Wait, where did you send them to? And he's like, send them to this address. And I was like, have you got proof of delivery or anything? And he sent me this picture, which if you know that place, that's my sister's house. So somehow the delivery must have come here and then the backup is to go to Alice's house. And I was like, there is no way he's actually sent these Yeezys. Like, let me know how the sizing fits and what you think of them. And I'm like, that's amazing. However, as you saw them shoes in that box, in that pile was the stuff of my peel box as well. So somehow these sneakers that have been sent to me have been thrown into the mix of everything you guys have sent over. So I've got to try and work out out of all the cardboard boxes that I have got in this entire area, which one has been sent by Elliot Page. So I'm throwing this out here right now. Elliot, thank you so much. I so wanted to, I want, I've got like a guess. If you, it's either this one here, all right? Or it's one in this area. Because if you actually zoom into that picture again and put like a big red arrow, that's the box in particular that I'm looking for. So obviously I've got like a bit of a height and size to go off, but 
from a looks perspective, it could be any of them. I cannot believe he's actually sent these. I'm hoping they've actually made it here and I've not just like accidentally left the box somewhere like Alice's house or the office or something like that. But there should be a brand spanking new pair of Yeezys in there for me to find. <laughs> right? Oh, no one wants to open it. Let's get going. Do you know what it has to be said? It would have been so epic if he never told me about it. And during the, like, the live stream of opening all this, if I would have unboxed a pair of yeah. Yeezys, I would have lost my bloody mind. So welcome to what is a bit of a P.O. Box unboxing session, which is for me to try and find the Yeezys, because I'm trying to save everything here for the live stream that I want to do of opening everything. But at the same time, I'm trying to... There's no way I've done it in the first one. I've done it in the first guess. Oh my god, I've actually done it in the first guess. There's no way! I honestly thought it was that one over there. I can't believe that! <laughs> there's no way he's actually sent these! <laughs> oh, there's a no! There's a no! These haven't even been released yet. Enjoy, brother. Elliot! <laughs> he's got to up the oh my gosh! What is going on? No joke, I thought it was going to be one of these boxes here. I, ju I, just, I just wanted to try from that side. But here you go, brand new Yeezys. Oh, oh that is a bit of me! Does this mean I can finally, I can finally retire the salmon pink ones? They've got holes in them! A brand new pair of Yeezy Boosts. I don't even know what the colour is, but when he put it on his Instagram, I was like, dude, they are sick. Are you ready? Moment of truth. Will they fit? Oh, there's tissues in it. <laughs> so no, they won't. <laughs> yeah, really? Well, they fit. <gasps> like a glove. If you would have sent any smaller, they wouldn't have fit. Oh, I cannot believe it, bro. Yo, everyone, go to Elliot on his Instagram. Like, this is his Instagram here on screen. Go to him on whatever his latest post is. Just be like, just be like, Tom says thank you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. Yes, Elliot! The socks are really doing it for yeah, me. Yeah, I was well. gonna say, yeah, that's not exactly a look, is it? But oh, they're so sick! So, I, I, I have to say this right now Elliot, thank you so much for them. They are absolutely epic. I owe you one. That is so generous. So generous. Yeah, You'll have to come and stay I'm with like, us. If I check my messages now, he's like, yeah, you've got them. He's like, you owe me this much money. I'm like, bye! <laughs> but no, honestly, if you want some money to these dudes, let me know because they are absolutely. Epic, and I'm not joking, these are about to be my new daily trainers. So, Yay. thanks, bro. <laughs> Just look at the state of the before. <laughs> it's freaking old, isn't it? The, bef the before, and then da -da 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 after daily trainers that I'm going to be wearing. That is such a sick upgrade. Oh my gosh. It looks like I've done a bloody make a wish for someone to donate me some trainers. That is ridiculous, and I need to stop letting my shoes get to this state, but I wear trainers for the sake of wearing trainers. Something on my feet that are comfy. Now, putting the shoes to one side, I've also brought up this box that someone sent to me. Because every time I walk downstairs, I see it says fragile and handle with care, and it says, I still call Australia home. So I'm like, okay, what on earth have I actually been sent? And now I'm gonna try and get in this fragile box without actually like, smashing it to pieces and hopefully we can do it in one safe go but we're in it's got a lot of packaging in it what is this gonna be i knew it i should have known it australia tim tam chocolates who's this from hi tom and lydia firstly congratulations you're gonna be the best parents ever it's a jelly man thank you I, i've been a fan for a long time as i remember i met you at insomnia 52 but they changed the time of the meet and greet so i missed out no, oh, no. I know this isn't much, but I hope you appreciate some Aussie chocolate. I'm originally from Rotherham, UK, and moved to Perth, Western Australia. Would love to know your guys' opinions. The estimated postage on this is quite long, so I hope Jellyman isn't by, isn't there in time, which, no, you're absolutely okay. Oh, Thank you so, so much, lovely. Jordan. That is absolutely lovely. Can't try it, Tim Tom. I've had one of these before. They're very nice. I think I would describe it like a is bourbon. It like a biscuit? Yeah, it's a biscuit. It's like a, I'd describe it like a bourbon chocolate. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it's like a, yeah. Oh, this is really awkward. When I move the phone, I click stop recording. Let's do it again. Cheers. Well, I've already had it, but Lydia's reaction, I went, I went, this is a replay. I went, oh yeah, it tastes like a bourbon biscuit. And I said, no, it's much better. But the filling's so clean. It's, oh, do you know what it is? What? It's a penguin. It's a penguin bar. No, no, no. The filling's Jordan, so much creamy. You know I'm right. It's so light and creamy. Jordan, you know I'm right. 
they mm. taste like a penguin. Australia snacks, we approve. We should mm. definitely do a pure box boxing theme one day, which is snacks from different countries. It is nearly half past 10 at night, and the vlog's only just gone live 14 minutes ago. I am an idiot sandwich. Well, to be fair, it wasn't my fault, and it wasn't really Jamie, the editor's fault. We did some, like, blurring stuff in yesterday's vlog, and it just messed with the edit, so I'm sorry about yesterday's vlog being really late. My bad. Now, I've got to give you a compliment real quick, because from what I showed of your room looking all lovely, the amount of people in the comments who said, I didn't know Lydia even had her own room. Whoa! What's on my desk? What is that? Wait, pause what that is for a second because the amount of people who didn't realise that Lydia had her own room because I'm here in my office, right? And I'd be sitting here for hours like when I was doing my streaming and my gaming and stuff like that. Lydia would be downstairs in like the lounge or the bedroom where the environment of like the grey and the darks, which I kind of thrive in, that is my style, just negs Lydia out. And I can totally understand it because I get that, that feel from the environment sometimes to the point where we agreed that Lydia wanted a bit of her own space in the house where it felt like a home for her. Make this house at home. <laughs> Explosion. And that she wanted somewhere where she could just feel comfortable and relaxing. So with one of the spare bedrooms, she did exactly that. We put a sofa in here, but it's actually a sofa bed because we wanted to be able to keep it into like, uh, you know, a spare room in case anyone needed to stay in here. And she made it her own little setup. So she's got like a makeup, where, uh, a makeup station where she gets ready in the mornings when she used to work, but now... She does it whenever she needs to. She's got the sofa bed. She's got a television on the wall. She's got a little fairy lights, a plant, some mirrors, and 89,000 million smelly things. But the amount of people who were commenting saying didn't know she actually had her own little room and how nice it was was lovely. I got this room. Wow. Do you know what I mean? Just before lockdown. Wow. Yeah. Just before lockdown. Yeah. And. Yeah, I wasn't in the box. <laughs> so the amount of times that I'd be in here during like lockdown and streaming and stuff like that, people didn't know me and Lydia were like still together or back together or whatnot, at whichever stage you started watching the vlogs. She was always in here, just chilling, binge watching Netflix or any flipping show that existed. But yeah, she made herself a little cosy home that. She loves to pieces. And oh no, don't worry, the baby that's on the way. Oh no, it's not taking over this room. No, 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 no. Not conveniently going in there. No, 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 no. It's going in here. It's taking over to the breadwinner's base of operations. I can't believe it. Wait, what am I explaining? I sit in this room peacefully. Yes. And you sit in that room screaming. True. So even if we made this the nursery, yes. your office would have to move. Yeah, because in all fairness to you as well, at the end of this year, another Call of Duty is going to come out with zombie stuff in it. If it didn't have zombie stuff in it, I probably wouldn't touch it or play it, but I'm probably going to want to stream that or make content on it. But then more so, in the next year, Treyarch's making the next Call of Duty. And, like, I love zombies. Like, it's it's like my it's still one of my favourite game modes of all time. And if there was ever a game that came out, and I was like, I just have that fire to want to be able to make content. Like, how you guys know me from the vlogs now, like, I'm back doing the vlogs because I want to do them, not because I have to. It felt like previously I was just doing it for the sake of doing it and I didn't have anything going on in my life because I was trying to balance doing gaming and vlogging. Whereas, like, now I know that in the future I'm going to want to be playing, like, Call of Duty, making content and videos on it, but as well as doing vlogging properly. However, it doesn't make sense that if this was the baby's room and I was in there screaming and shouting... You hold this and point it at yourself. I'm going to shut my door. This is what I have to deal with while I'm trying to binge watch my Netflix. I can hear him sitting down. <laughs> it's it's also that loud in our bedroom, so he just cannot be on this floor. So it makes sense for me to be relegated now, the idea and the plan was for me to get the house next door going, worked on, built, designed. But instead... But water leaks, <laughs> delays, cost, construction, chaos at the start of 2023, we found the stuff. Everything that's just delayed it has, got, has led to the point where it's like, that's clearly not happening, so I'm getting put in the basement. <laughs> With all the dirty washing. <laughs> yeah, mate, why, why, why? I should set up like a, I've always wanted to do a little bit of a podcast. I should set up the bar as like my podcast studio because everyone does podcasts like set at bars and having a drink. Thousand percent. So I should do a podcast at the bar. You've got new stools for down there. Yeah, you've got new stools. So I could I could have that set up and I could like put all the wiring to it on like on the ceiling <gasps> so you wouldn't see it. I could I could have my streaming set up. 
and then I could have a podcast set up and I could maybe even create an area of where I do the PO b- unboxing stuff. That's what I was going to say. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah, I, could, I could make because... a PO unboxing set. Let's play, let's play what's on Lydia's shelf. First thing that's on Lydia's shelf, it's it's a mouse that she got off her mum and you move the, the you move the, um, this and the legs go up. Tom, Amazing. good luck getting that to stand back up now. Um, she has an apple and a pear because she loves a stair. Um, finding muchness, she has uh, a smile. Do you want to know my favourite thing in this room? I don't know, she's got lightning in a can! And the best thing about it is the little group. Lydia's room. But yeah, I'm getting relegated to the basement. And by the way, I, <laughs> I started I, I started the Jelly Cat collection because I bought these for Lydia. Yeah, you did. Look at these ones. These are the first ones we bought. Look how full my bin is. <laughs> I need some bookshelves building because there's too many books everywhere. What's the noise? Ew. And there's a Christmas onesie on the back of the door. <laughs> Stop it! I can't believe I managed to run it out three times and fart each time. Sorry about that, my apologies. But right, time to show you what's in this. It's a biscuitier's chocolate. No, it's not. It's a Biscuitiers biscuit, and Biscuitiers is like my favourite place to, to get bis biscuits from. Now, I'm not sure who this is from or why I've got it. Try to do this one-handed without breaking it, and ooh. Oh. Oh. It says thanks. Oh, you're not thanking me for anything? No. You were thanked and I get the biscuits? Yeah. There's no problem with me. Hey, <laughs> thanks to whoever gave them to Lydia. <laughs> Don't mind. If I do. Ow. Ow! They're quite firm. <laughs> but it's so good. Have you forgiven me for trumping yet? <laughs> you know you love it. It's the reason why you love it. Oh, yeah, I love it. Come on, you love it. Right, one name for a one name for a girl, one name for a boy for a baby girl. One eternity later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just a just a spoiler alert, we're really bad at baby names. We'll get the book. No. Right there. Oh, yes, yeah, so we did a. Okay. So, this is going to be the name if it's going to be a boy. You ready? Kian. Meaning God is gracious, it's Gaelic, and is a variation of John. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't fucking think so. <laughs> right? And if it's going to be a girl, Kobe. That's a boy's name. Uh, apparently, it's, it's obviously a famous basketballer as well, but um, it does also say they can be named after Japanese beef. Well,. Hey, we're cracking names. Your turn. All right. Boy name first. Daniel. Dan. What? Danielius. <laughs> Danielius. Dan Danielius. <laughs> Dan Danielius. A Greek name. Is it like Daniel Cornelius, but da Danielius? <laughs> okay, so that's the boy name. <laughs> and now time for a girl. These aren't girl names. Okay, girl name. What is it though? This is what she's gonna be Hadley. called. What? Hadley. Yeah, that could be a girl's name. The meadow, it means. Oh god. Even with Sabo how do you pronounce that name? Sibo Siboyan? Samoa. That's the Siobhan! <laughs> That's not how you say spell Siobhan, is it? That's Siobhan. <laughs> Siobhan. Siob Siob Sa so Soban. Soban Thomas. Siobhan. That's how you spell for Siobhan. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Taking it seriously, this is gonna be our baby's name no matter what. Vincente. <laughs> hey, Italian. We're so screwed. Um, I accidentally said in yesterday's vlog that the baby was due in 32 days. Everyone in the comments is like, what the fuck have we oh, missed? Goodness. Okay, we've only got 61 days tomorrow. What's your prediction now, right now? What's your prediction? <laughs> Early, late, no, on no, time? No, on the due date, exactly. You think on the yeah, due date? Yeah, 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 exactly. I October 24th on the dot. Yeah, leave a comment down below. Girl name, boy name, and if, if, when you think it's going to come. It's due in 61 days. Late, earlier on time. My favourite my favorite thing is how much faith you put in in this 61 days. You're like, how many will be here in 61 days? I know. The amount of people are like, Tom, you do know they can come early or late. I'm like, yes, of course I know that, you idiots. But that's the estimated due dates. I'm just going with yeah, it. Yeah, but you sounds like an idiot. Oh, leave it alone. I love how it's... 11.24 at night, I'm watching back the vlog with a hot chocolate and Lydia's just sat next to me eating beans on It's not beans, it's hoops. <laughs> I'm 
and cheese. She asked me to make a Philadelphia Did toast. Did you understand, right? We went away. We went Philadelphia away. Philadelphia goes from zero to 100. Right. So she was like, can you make me Philadelphia and toast? And I was like, oh, babe, I don't think the Philadelphia is good. <laughs> right. Because I opened one tub and the one tub had more than it. Like we've been away. Understandably, it's gone off. Then I was like, oh, we've got another tub. And I was like, amazing. I can make it what she wants. And I opened it up. Oh, my God. I'm surprised there's not a little spaceship flying out of it and this, and this fucking evolution has like gone to the stratosphere. Oh God, that is so bad. So it kind of explains why she went from going from Philadelphia on toast from me to uh, spaghetti hoops on, on toast herself. Spaghetti hoops never go off. It's excellent. <laughs> right, it is now 10 to 12 in the evening and we're going to bed. And we're calling it. I think we're calling it. We're calling it, we're calling it a night. Ladies, gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this fight for your life, let's party. Yeah, no guys, if you've actually, let me show you something real quick. Shout out to Deji, he's just made his video gone live from when we were in Saudi Arabia. And I'm not gonna lie, the actual entire intro of the video, or the majority of the video is just me and him having fun the entire time. And it was absolutely brilliant. Like, honestly, it's wait. She's got a baby inside her. <laughs> It was such a good time. And you know what? I, I have to say this right now. I genuinely really like Deji. My kind of person. Plus, he can, he can have a laugh. And there was so much footage that I couldn't share from when we went to Gamers 8 just because, like, we didn't want to put it in the video because it wasn't, like, either appropriate or anything like that because he's, he's just really funny. He, like, genuinely is funny. Like I said, it's like, sometimes you don't know whether you're laughing at him or with him, but it's, but it's in a comical well, way either way because you think he's being stupid on purpose, but then sometimes he's like, no, I'm genuinely not. So... I definitely say this right now. I really want to cross paths with Deji again soon. If I, I, I told him about the super secret project, you can't and save it up. and he said like, if you actually manage to get that happening, I will come up and stay with you guys in Manchester. So, just throwing that out there, oh, that are, would be absolutely we are, wicked. We are going to struggle with Deji. He's a, he doesn't like to try new foods. Oh yeah, De Deji. He um, never tried ramen. He never before. tried ramen, and it wasn't until when we were at Gamers Eight that I managed to get him to try it. And and you know what he also said. And this is a fact, you can call me. He said he's never tried Indian food ever in his life. Never had a curry. How? I just don't understand. He's going to have to come and stay with us and we'll take him on like a full food fiasco uh, in the streets of Manchester and see how that Please goes. But <laughs> Leave a like rating if you want to see that. That'd be absolutely brilliant. But guys, I'm going to go. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you have, leave a like rating. If you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button. It means so much to me that so many people are choosing to create an account because most people are like watching this on, not even logged in on an account. So if you can do, log into account, click that subscribe button, ding down the notification bell, and I will see you guys every single weekday at 7 p.m. for the next weekday vlog. So until then, much love to your faces. And adios. Don't ask me why I've got salt and pepper in my hand. It is what it is. Oh no, you're being assaulted.